Great. Hello, my name's Matt Black. I'm the owner of Hangover Hill Recording Studio, um, which you are watching at the moment. We're in uh, going over an old session that we did a couple of months ago, uh, a track called Burn the Fire. And uh, what I'd like to do is to just quickly talk you through how we wrote the song. Um, because we actually did it in a session where we were just in the same room at the same time, mucking about with chords. Someone started to write some lyrics. I added a bit of chords on the piano and then added strings, drums. We got Chris Payne involved on guitar and Cy Gennaro on harmonica at the end, which you may have just heard just at the end of the track. But I just wanted to show you the process of uh, what we do when we go through a song at Hangover Hill, all done in this room. Um, and uh, so some people may not know that it's as easy as it, as it can be. Um, so to start with, and you'll forgive me because I'm a bit of an amateur at this sort of thing, so if I lose you, just rewind and then I'll say it again for you, okay, right? But what we're going to do, a track basically is set up into lots of other tracks. Things like drums, guitars, bass guitar, keyboards, and they're all layered on top of each other to make the full sound. So when we start to record a song, you normally start with something like a piano or a guitar and a vocal. Um, which then you fill in all the other instruments and all the other patterns around it as you go. So I'm going to play you uh, the piano track that we started with. Um, it didn't start like this, it's just started with a couple of chords and then we wrote a chorus and then we wrote a verse that went with that. But this is the piano track um, that we recorded down uh, on, the, on this very piano over here, which is a, a, a V piano, a Roland V piano, which I'm very proud of, very nice sort of model. So this is basically how the piano starts to play out. You get the idea? And that was done to a clip track, which we decided on the... On the beat being 78 beats per, per minute, we just thought that's about the sort of feel that we wanted. And I played this to a, what you call a scratch vocal track, which the chap who's singing, you'll hear later on, Simon Harder, who also wrote the words to the song, just laid down a quick version, not trying to sing perfectly, but just to get the right words and the time. So that when we came along to be playing it and recording it, we had something to play too. Um, I'll play you the vocals that we ended up with. She's coming into the pre-chorus now. You can hear it layers up with the vocals. I wonder what she's doing tonight With a smile so nice and her hair just right How I learn to hold her again I miss her every day Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin And take our paths from deep within So that's it, that's the vocals and the piano. We did the whole thing going along through that. Um, and then until we were happy with it, there were no mistakes. So we've got a basic track that we can then start to work other instruments on the top of. Now, the next thing I went along with that I wanted to do were is a beat. I wanted to get some sort of a, a beat for the to give it a feel to the drums. I didn't know what we were going to use, so I started with a loop, which is a percussive loop that just rolls around and around and around. Looked through all the library of loops that we've got. We ended up with uh, this one. I'll take the vocals out, and then you can just listen to the loop on its own. Good deep bass drum, just nice light touch on the hi hats, just quite easy going. So, when you put that with the piano, you see how they work together with the intro of the bass. So far. Now, 
I needed a bit more rhythm, uh, and I'm not a guitarist at all, and we didn't have access to Chris Payne, who's our local guitarist uh, at the time. So while we were in the room here, we decided just to put use a module on here called Strum, which is a way of playing the guitars through keyboards. You play the chords, and it plays a guitar sound, uh, depending on what sort of uh, settings you set it at, at different styles. So we uh, set the strum going. Now, so this is the guitars with the loop and the piano. I'll just isolate. See, it's very simple. Sounds like a guitarist. Just to keep the, the, the rhythm going. All in good. Uh, we've taken the vocals out at the moment because we're concentrating on the backing. Um, um, the next thing I want to do, those drums, those drums all the way through are a little bit boring. So we added a drum module over the top of them to embellish them and add a little bit of a real feel to the real drummer. We didn't use a real drummer, we used something called Studio Drummer and Session Drummer, which uh, has many patterns that have been recorded by a real drummer that you then select and you can edit and you can you can put it into line. So it's like having a drummer that just says, we want you to play that, we want you to play that, we want you to play that, and they do it all the time. So this is where I'm going to put the drums in now. And we came in, decided to come in, as if you can just pick this up, this track here is the drum track and it comes in roughly halfway through where the song is. The song is broadly the length of the screen that you can see there, but the drums come in halfway through. So I'm just going to play when, just before the drums come in, you can hear the whole thing as the drums sort of kick in. And then we had a bit of a break before the drums kicked in here. Start to get the feel of the song now. Now it sounds very empty, so we want to pad it out with something called strings or choir or electronic pads. There's something I used a synth I used called Rapture, which is one of my favourite synths to go to. And one of the styles of sounds you can play is something called sequence, which takes the tempo of your song and it plays multiple no notes within the chord you're playing, and it just gives it a good rhythmic feel sometimes to things. Um, so we put the Rapture in. Um, where do we find it? Where is it? Where is sequence 1, I think it's there. And this is what happened when we did that. sound smooth. Just coming in any time now. This is where the pad comes in, just smooth things out. track as well, um, which is another loop over the choruses to embellish and add more detail to the drums and things that were going on to the ear. You'll hear it coming now. Just a basic bass and snare, just to strengthen those parts of the drum band. That's all well and good, but there's no bottom end to the song, so we want to add a bass guitar. So for this I pulled up a synthesizer called Dimension Pro and we used just the normal electric bass sound uh, which is here and I'll solo it out so you can hear on its own.
Very simple. When you put it with everything else, you're going to hear it. You're getting the feel of the song now. We can sort of feel how it's going to go. That's often the way it happens. You, When you're writing a song, you really don't have often an idea of what you want it to sound like in your head. So it sort of grows like a tree does. You can plant the tree, but you have no idea what the branches or the leaves are going to look like. That's very similar to how we wrote this song. Okay, so we've got the sequence, we've got the drums, the bass, uh, we've added the guitar. Um, another thing, we wanted to add a few more pads, um, sort of traditional thing, because the synth we had there only comes in every now and again. But strings are always good to make a sound orchestral or just fill things out, smooth things over. So we added strings in. subtle difference, it's starting to really take shape. Okay, so we've it's all sounding quite good, um, but it does sound a little bit poppy, a little bit plasticky. This is when Chris Payne came back home, and uh, we said, Chris, Chris, bring your guitar in here, and um, just do what you want, and, uh, and there's a, if you ever work with Chris, you'll know that he listens to it a couple of times, comes up with something genius, and then just walks off as if he's just irrigated the Sahara Desert or something similar. So we got Chris's guitar in, um, and he did a lot of, uh, he did about three takes, and uh, we, we took the best parts of each take out. This is Chris's track here, and you can see that there's, well, actually two takes, and we've highlighted the parts that we want, and we've muted the parts that we didn't. So Chris's guitar sounds something like this on its own. done with the track now we're ready to, to uh, overlay some vocals over the top um, so we did that and you've heard the vocals that we did for Simon's vocals at the end but we also want some backing vocals so we went two or three different tracks actually four tracks over and we decided to Simon went over each part of the song and then when it came to the choruses just sang another chorus line over the top She's doing tonight with a smile so nice and her hair just right. How I long to hold her again. I miss her every day. Now that vocal is quite heavily processed. What we've done there is we've had a lot of delay, a lot of reverb, taken a few uh, EQ equalization points down so it doesn't interfere with the main vocal, separates them out in your ears. But also, we did tune that vocal so that it sounds completely flat behind the roundness of the main vocal just separates them out, supports the vocal underneath and then it means you're concentrating more on what the main vocal is saying as opposed to having the backing vocals too important in the song. So that's what we did there. We've got a few oohs, what we call oohs, which is exactly what you might think it is. 
we've got a where we just octave that the same vocal quite an interesting effect with them just frame was the main vocal quite nicely so we've got that in they're the backing vocals and then we add the main vocal um, and this is what it sounds like over the chorus now What she's doing tonight with a smile so nice and her hair just right. How I learn to hold her again. I miss her every day. Time goes by and the tide rolls in. I wish that we could read again and take our past from deep within. Baby, what you say to it. So that's all well and good, and and to us it sounded nice, but it didn't go anywhere. It was it was growing nicely, but it didn't have that extra special cherry on top of the cake that we needed. And that's when Cy Gennaro entered the room. Now, Cy, you may well know, he's a well, quite well-known musician around the Bournemouth area and in, in England. He's been on the television quite a lot of times. Uh, brilliant, brilliant chap, absolutely amazing bloke. Um, but he's world-class harmonica player. Um, and I mean world class. Uh, Stevie Wonder and him literally are on the same level, if not size, just edging ahead of him, I think, in terms of creativity. And I know some of you will be shouting at the screen now, but seriously, I've worked with size so many times. I uh, haven't worked with Stevie Wonder yet, so maybe I should wait until I do that. But let's see what you think, because we said to Cy, here's the track, just do anything you want over the top. And he did two or three tracks. We picked out the best bits, because the first time through, obviously, you're trying to find the chords. Uh, and, and he did a few things there, he said, oh, I'm not sure about that bit. But I think we went with the second track in the end, the second tape. But I'm just going to add size harmonica in now. I'm going to play the whole thing through with size harmonica. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Burn the Fire. of smiles and laughter shattered dreams of happily ever after sunset on a crimson sky I look to the heavens and I wonder why far away and out of sight Traveling into the night I wonder what she's doing tonight With a smile so nice and her hair just right How I learn to hold her again I miss her every day Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin Take our past from deep within Baby, what you say, take it one step and day by day Learn each other's different ways Reunite and burn the fire bright Burn the fire bright The hurt inside won't subside Time I realize As days go by The pain will fade And I'll be glad I went away Life's a journey Not a destination Some days are bad Some celebration Fast and life moves slow I wonder what she's doing tonight With a smile so nice and her hair just right 
How I long to hold her again I miss her every day Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin And take our path from deep within Baby, what you say? Take it one step day by day Learn each other's different ways Reunite and burn the fire bright Burn the fire bright Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin Take our past from deep within Baby, what you say? Take it one step day by day Learn each other's different ways Reunite and burn off by Simon Ty Gennaro's harmonica written by Simon Harder uh, guitar was by Chris Payne and uh, Matt Black on keyboards the ugly git Hi, uh, I'm Matt Black uh, what do I do for a living um, well first off you may have heard my name or seen my name if you've been in B&Q because it's on lots of pots of paint and stuff like that but um yeah, I've been playing the piano uh, for about, professionally, for about 24 years. Um, it started off playing in hotels, uh, actually the Norfolk Royal in Bournemouth, that's where I started to play properly. Um, and as time went on, the links between the songs got more comedic, let's say. I used to introduce jokes in between tunes, uh, have a chat with the audience, um, which I've been asked to be at the time sort of governed the way the act was going to go. Uh, eventually people started to book me for the actual links um, as opposed to the tunes as well. Um, and so I became a sort of, well I call myself a sit down comedian because I don't stand up when I'm working, I'm sitting down at the piano. Um, but that's one thing I did. Um, just recently uh, I've been using and recording my recording studio, Hangover Hill, uh, which I really love doing that sort of work as well, um, which is a whole new ball of wax, that's completely different. But what I tend to do, uh, to describe Matt Black is, uh, I sit at the piano, I tell jokes, I have a laugh with everybody, and I look like Princess Anne, that's about it. Hopefully they'll enjoy themselves. The inspirations uh, to what I do. I'm a huge fan, and I've been lucky enough to meet uh, Rick Wakeman and I think he's an amazing musician and raconteur as well he's got a great sense of humour as has Elton John I think those two guys have been formulative in the way I play the piano and the way I approach music um, there are millions of musicians out there that I listen to and that I've been influenced by because I think everyone you listen to is a little bit of the ingredients of what you are um, so it's not just those two, it's, it's all sorts of people. Um, it's from classical right through to heavy rock, completely, completely eclectic. Um, I'm inspired by people who don't read music. Um, obviously Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles are, are those sort of people. But there are a lot of people in the music business who don't read music. I'm not against reading music, but I've never used music myself to, uh, to learn. Um, and I think that lends a, a natural feel to whoever's playing any instrument. You get the personality of the person through that. You're not bound or governed by rules or, or, or trained in the way of thinking of, of musical rules. Although it does help when you're trying to understand music to do a bit of theory and to try and understand it. I think to play by ear and to play just... One of those notes on the piano is the right one, and it's, there's only one in 88 chance of finding it, and there's a pretty good chance of knowing roughly where you are. So it's not difficult to get fluent in the language of music, which is indeed just what it is. Um, and uh, it's taken me around the world. 
Um, so my inspiration to do for being a musician is to, to prevent myself from working for a living for as long as possible um, and in doing so having a lot of fun. I wish I'd learned to play a, a slightly lighter instrument because carrying a piano around isn't the most ergonomic of things to do but at least I can put my drinks on top of mine and uh, if you're playing the flute or something you've got a bit of a problem there. But those inspirations are there. Comedic uh, inspirations come down to um, Billy Connolly very, 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 very inspired by him. Uh, Eddie Azard, um, a whole host of people that are observational comedians, uh, which is what I like. Um, just looking at the world around you, observing the idiosyncrasies of it, and then just highlighting those. And if, if the audience has seen what you've seen, but never quite put it in the same way that you have, then you do have a connection, and that's where everyone's having a good time. That's my inspirations. Um, hello, yes, uh, Burn the Fire. Um, I think I was in the right place at the right time for that track, actually. I was just happened to be in the house and uh, and Matt played me this track uh, by Mr Harder and uh, I was very moved, actually. I didn't realise he had it in him. I mean, I know Simon is a bit of a joker. You know, he farts around, he does this and that and the other and he's always badgering me about the badgers. And uh, all of a sudden this beautiful track came out, you know, a beautiful collaboration between him and Matt. So... Um, he said you want to put some harmonica on it and it just as soon as I started playing on that track it just it just flowed out it was effortless and that's that's the thing with a good tune you don't even have to try you know uh, if you have to try then it's not right so um, yeah it was a wonderful thing to be a part of and I'm very proud to be on that track and uh, fair play to you Mr Harder that's the badger anyway thanks for listening um, this is uh, Hangover Hill you can find Burn the Fire on Bandcamp or you can find Hangover Hill on the internet as well. Just give us a search and say hello. Um, and if you've got any questions, just send them. Thanks for watching. She's doing tonight With a smile so nice and her hair just right How I long to hold her again I miss her every day Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin And take her path from deep within Baby, what you say? One step day by day Learn each other's different ways Reunite and burn the fire bright Burn the fire bright Time goes by and the tide rolls in I wish that we could re-begin Take our past from deep